pedals. Adjust it. Seat belt and internal lock. There should be inertia lock. Yep. Checked, fastened, and adjusted. My controls. Player right. Uh, you said you don't have to do that, but I um, always do it um, out of like, you know, like safety purposes, just being safe. So you're going to go full throw, uh, or sorry, full square on the collective, full throw on the pedals, and then full up and down on the collective. Oops, sorry, got <laughs> Full up and down on the collective, and then free and coupled. Search light. Right here, off. Lower circuit breakers. These two. Torque mode C. Uh, make sure they're in, so in. Avionics. So this switch, this one, and then this one, they're all going to be off. Uh, engine anti-icing. Um, here, make sure it's off. Hydraulic system. Yeah. On. Right here. Instruments. Alright, here, static check, all gauges zero, clock, wound, correct time, OAT, 20 degrees Celsius. Radar altimeter. Set below zero. ECS. Off. Overhead switches. Gonna make sure they're all off. The generator is weird. Off is the middle position. So, off. Overhead circuit breakers. Are in. Instrument lights. Off. Cabin heat valve. Uh, it should be here. It's not here in the sim, but off. Carpet lights. To these. Off. Uh, okay. Anti collision lights. Yeah. On. Uh, position lights. Off. Helmets. On. Uh, yeah, so how does this can be? It, don't you give like all three and then get all so three? So he'll back? say, I've had some do like in a row, but he'll say like helmets, battery, and ICS. Okay. And then you just, I do the helmet and then I flip the battery on and then I go on 24 volts, ICS check. And then I'll say, Last yeah, battery, and I say, read you the same. Odd meat switch. Odd. And mute. Fire detector test. Test. Caution light test. Five normal. So hydraulic pressure, gen fail, trans oil pressure, engine out, low rotor RPM. Hold for at least two seconds. Full, pa full panel. And then you'll get the three chip lights. You'll wait till those extinguish. And then you say continuity chip. Okay. Fuel quantity. Here, uh, you check, and then I almost said there. That's not it. That's the pressure. Fuel quantity uh, and 68 gallons. Pre-start checklist complete. Start checklist. Force trim. On. Twist grip. You're gonna go all the way open. Bring it back. Make sure it hits the idle gate, and then close it. Close. Fuel valve. On. Fuel pressure in the green. Battery switch. Uh, on. And that also depends on if you're doing like GPU battery start. Rotors. Um, clear right, no tie downs. Clear left, no tie down. Fire guard. So same thing as primary. Set. And this is where you, they, yeah, you want to make sure you put your hands on the controls for all this. Engine start. All right. Let me know if rotors aren't turning by 25% NG. This is your NG. Uh, starter on the whatever part of the clock you want, so we'll go with the 8. Starter on the 8. Starter on, 20 volts, TOT less than 150, twist grip, light idle at 15% NG, uh, light off, monitor TOT, and now you're just looking to make sure you're not going to get uh, a hot start. Engine and, oil trans engine and transmission oil pressures on the rise, starter off at 58% NG. Uh, and then you'll say start it off on the one. Okay. Good. Yeah, just come and watch it a couple times. You should be good. Engine transmission oil pressures. Engine oil pressure in the green, transmission oil pressure normal for this phase. Position lights. Off. Battery switch. Uh, on. GQ battery car. Uh, it should be like, you know, primary removed or not required or not used. Uh, on mute switch. Uh, on. Instruments. Um, so you're just gonna check within limits. So that was one thing he talked to me about today. Or so actually, I kind of screwed you guys up. You're not gonna stay within limits here because technically, some of your actually. No. Okay, so just make sure you follow this because one of them he was saying 
does it have to be within limits? Because technically it doesn't. You could have like a lower temperature for your transmission oil. Mm -hmm. So for this one, it's just checked. Yeah, my bad. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just like before you full open it or something. Yeah, or you it is. Yeah, on. I always screw that up, and I want to say like within limits because that's the safe part of me. But yeah. I guess like it doesn't actually need to be within limits right now. So. Okay, fair enough. Uh, caution panel. Uh, checked for normal lights. These are the generator's still off, so that's why it's normal. And we have the twist grip is flight idle, so that's why we have a low motor RPM. Um, so start checklist complete, pre takeoff checklist, twist grip. Alright, so the command is green, green, above 15 degrees Celsius in one minute. So you're checking to make sure your PSIs are in the green. You're checking to make sure that your transmission oil temp is at least 15. This is not 5, this is 50. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good. Um, and then you're waiting to make uh, make sure that you've been at flight idle for at least one minute. And um, then you're gonna um, open up the twist grip to 70% NG. Here, I'd say 70% NG. Main generator switch. All right, so reset, then on, light off, increase in volts and load. Reset, uh, avionics. All right, so both. This will come to on and it's standby. Both on standby. And that doesn't work on the stand. No. Okay. So make sure those two lights. Okay, uh, load meter. All right, check below 50%. ECS. So your ECS is going to come on. The reason you're checking below 50% is because if you turn it on and it's not below 50%, you could overload the generator. So below 50% and then ECS on. And then yeah, it depends okay. on which one you put on. Air uh, conditioner on or fan. Yeah. Flight controls. Clear right. Clear left. All right. So this is a long, a lot of stuff. You're gonna hold down the force trim, and you're gonna do an X. And this is two inches. Make sure that everything works. Let go of the force trim. Do a plus. And then force trim off. And then you're gonna do an X. Yep. Uh, pedals and collective, and that's less than two, two inches or less. Um, and then you're gonna go hydraulics off, light on, and hydraulics only controls collective and cyclic. So now you're only gonna uh, test same thing X, and then over the two inches, and then you go hydraulics on, light off, force trim on. Control check complete. Okay. Engine anti-icing. Actually, did I do that backwards? Hydraulics on, no, light out. No, I had to do it right. Yeah, okay, force cool. Force trim on, control check complete. Sweet. Engine anti-icing. So, this is going to be not required. So, you're going to look and make sure it's not required if it's greater than, yeah, 10, 10 degrees. degrees. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> All um, right, so not required? Yep. Good heat. It is up here. And not required. Cargo hook. Not required. Twist grip. All right, so now we're gonna do the gauges. So gauges and caution lights normal, i.e. this is the only one we should have. Um, and then we're going to twist grip full open, not to exceed 40% torque. Look in here. You're n you shouldn't exceed 40% torque because it could cause uh, engine chugging or compressor stall, but we talked about this today. It necessarily doesn't, it's not that big of a deal if you exceed 40. Like if the engine's not chugging, like you're good. Uh, <laughs> but the whole reason we're not exceeding 40% torque is to make sure that the engine, well, look at that, is to make sure that the uh, engine doesn't start choking or you get a compressor stall. So, yeah. It's actually kind of a long process. It's just like, okay. All right, full open, NFNR 100%. I always add that, NFNR 100%. But. Talk about the signal. Yeah, so anytime you open up the twist grip for full open, it's the same as okay. if you're going to run up the engine. You're just giving him a warning, like, hey, we're going to get the rotors moving now. Yeah. yeah. Just think about it like you're starting up the engine. Anytime yeah. you're moving the blades, like, in a faster rate, just let them know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, deceleration of flight idle. All right, so the instructor's going to take controls from you at this time. Um, this would be, like, fit figured to be, like, in the, plant, in the uh, aircraft. Uh, he's going to drop it to flight idle. Um, so I'll show you. He's going to drop it to flight idle. You're going to say 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. You're looking for 100% NR to drop to 
uh, 62 plus or minus 2 NG. It's actually 65 NG, so 100% NR dropped to 65% NG, but we're looking for it to stabilize at 62 plus or minus 2. And the one thing I learned today is this is 10s and like this is 1s. So this is actually 61. <laughs> instead of you having to like, oh. yeah, instead of you having oh, okay. to stare, it's like, okay, that's 61. Yeah. Yeah, I guess like even on the startup, like the 13 or 15%. Yeah. yeah. Too. Exactly. So then he's going to say uh. um, NG stabilize at 61%. And then it's going to be your turn, and you're going to say, just grab full open, not to exceed 40% torque. Uh, I'm just going to So you do, the same, you do the same thing? Yeah, so I'm know. just going to torque it up really quick so we can show you guys. You're going to go, yeah, see, they don't like that. <laughs> it's going to be full open, not to exceed 40% torque. And then, again, you're going to do NFNR 100%. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to go through the whole process of mm -hmm. taking it to, to flight idle, counting a lot of them like to hear you count like the one one thousand two one thousand to make sure you actually know like what you're looking at so full open nfn are 100 percent you're gonna drop the flight idle flight idle one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand ng stable at 62 yeah. percent cool. and rotor low rpm is supposed to come on you yep yeah okay. so that's basically uh I like to equate things to uh, T6 lines, I understand yeah. that. That's you going from like full PCL to idle. Okay. And what's your engine going to do? It's going to slow down. And that's exactly what's happening. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so just do those, deceleration flight idle. Correct. Okay, and then now the combat checklist, which we went over. Yep, I can do it again if you really want. Don't matter me. Oh, she already got it. 